Hey everybody, I'm Stephanie from Stephanie Khan Fitness and this is your day 11 yoga practice for our 30 day yoga challenge. Today's practice is all about core stability. We're gonna be on the floor, um, mostly in an all fours position for this practice. So if you think that you might need a little extra padding underneath your knees, you can grab um, a blanket, fold that up, slide it underneath as we get going with this practice. So let's begin today just by closing our eyes, taking a big, deep, complete inhalation, and then exhale, letting it go completely. And then gently blinking your eyes open, before we get started on all fours, I do want to warm up your wrists a little bit because we will be on all fours quite a bit. So go ahead and bring your hands together at heart center. And we're just going to roll through those wrists. Just kind of wake things up a little bit today. And now let's roll them the opposite way. Just waking them up, stretching them out a little bit. Let's go ahead and do one more going this way. Shake out your hands and then just kind of shake out your wrists like you uh, just washed your hands and there are no paper towels. So just kind of loosen that up and let's get going onto all fours. So taking a moment here to find our balance and stability. Our hands into the floor. Imagine that you're making print on your yoga mat today, push down so slight pads of the fingers. And you'll notice that if you start to push down a little bit of the floor, we begin to energize up through. It's going to help us to stabilize into the shoulder. So instead of kind of letting it go and letting gravity do its thing. See how I tilted my pelvis forward and arched my back and now I've got a little valley between my shoulder blades. We wanna think about getting rid of that, pushing down into the floor so that the spine is long and in neutral and you'll actually feel those deep core muscles engage. Now from here, we'll begin just with a little cat cow as we inhale, lifting the tailbone, lengthening the spine, opening the chest forward. Now as we exhale, we're reversing that movement, tucking the tailbone down, almost like you're trying to tuck it between your knees, separating the space between the shoulder blades. Uh, again, we inhale, lengthen, stretch, open. Exhale, tuck and round. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lengthen stretch open, exhale, rounding the back. And then from here, we'll make our way back into that all fours position. So really think about drawing up and in through your deep core. So we'll lift the pelvic floor, navel comes about two millimeters closer to the spine. I want you to imagine that we've just placed a tray of coffee on the back of your pelvis. You're gonna try to spill that coffee as we keep our collarbones parallel to the floor. I want you to take your right hand and hover it a millimeter or two off the floor. Almost like I was gonna come slide a little piece of paper underneath it. So it's a little itty bitty hover. You should barely be able to tell that your hand is off the floor. Now that we've got that, let's see if we can't do the same thing with the left. So now we feel like a really wobbly table in a restaurant. I want you to engage your core here. Keep that back long and straight. And then gently releasing the hand and the knee back down. We're gonna find that balance again, both hands, both knees. And you guessed it, now we get to try the opposite side. So let's take that left hand and we'll allow it again just to hover over the floor. Still keeping the collarbones parallel to the ground, belly draws in. And when we're ready to do so, hover that right knee. So really nothing in your body should have changed except for the fact that you're hovering that hand in that knee. 
So the positioning of the hips stays the same. Hold it here, big breath in, big breath out, and then gently release. So again, we're going to find that balance and stability again on all fours. Now we're gonna make that movement a little bit bigger here, but I want you to think about that core engagement that we just practiced and that positioning through the hips and the shoulders that we just practiced. So this time we'll inhale, let's reach the right arm out and away and then slide your shoulder blade down the back. So if that's where you're comfortable, stay here. Or we can start to slide the left toes back all five of those left toes are facing the floor. So if this is where you're comfortable with a kickstand on your big toe, go ahead and stay here. Or if you want, straight up with that leg. Now, you'll notice I'm not going super duper high with my leg on this one. You'll notice that if you reach high, guess what happens? We start to arch that back. I want you to think about that left hip bone facing the floor, you're going straight back with that left leg. Then the strength of the core brings everything together. Let's try that on the other side. Left arm reach, extend, sliding the shoulder blade down and away. And then this time the right toes slide back. So again, stay here practicing your balance and core stability. Or we can begin to float that right leg up. So think about here leading with your inner thigh as you lift instead of rotating, lifting that. It's okay. We'll hear the deal. And then gently exhaling back down. So now we're going to put that together with our breath. So you're only going to go as high as you can without arching the back. So really pull in through that deep core. So as we inhale, we reach, lengthen, extend. Exhale, strength of the core brings everything back down. Again, we inhale, lengthen, stretch, extend. Exhale, bringing everything back down. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bringing everything back in. So we can continue moving as we are, or this time we can inhale, reach, exhale, let's scoop the belly, tap the elbow towards the knee, inhale, reach away, exhaling back to all fours. Let's try that other side. Inhale, reach, 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 keeping yourself stable here. Exhale, tapping our elbow to the knee, inhale, lengthening away. Exhaling back to all fours. Uh, again, inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhaling back to all fours one more time. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Exhaling back to all fours. And from here, let's gently guide ourselves back so that we're relaxing back into extended child's pose. Giving ourselves just a second here to stretch and relax through the back. And gently walking ourselves in. Let's have a seat on our mats. <clears throat> Sitting up nice and tall, drawing our hands together at heart center. The light within me honors and salutes the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for this core stability yoga practice. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.